there are two names, a couple of names. Brandon Ayuk's probably on there, but there are two other names that seemingly are hitting breaking points with their team that the Pittsburgh Steelers, you could start to see some momentum building where it's like mm, end of the road is coming for these guys and their current organizations. Looks like the Pittsburgh Steelers might have some opportunities to jump on some things with some new organizations. That is Cortland Sutton and T. Higgins. And T. Higgins isn't coming to the Pittsburgh Steelers, but he's a good example because this is where we are. It's not about all oh, the Pittsburgh Steelers could go get Cortland Sutton or T. Higgins or Jamar Chase or Brandon Ayuk or any of those. It's, it's updating the timeline. The timeline currently is we are at the point where contracts are not going to get done and guys are not showing up to minicamp. The next two weeks are pivotal. The next two weeks are if guys don't get deals done, deals get made because then there's no wiggle room. The NFL and those organizations take the beginning of July off. All of them. It's it's a ghost town. I'm telling you, everybody takes their vacation July 1st until July 10th. It happens every single year. At that point, that is when it becomes... Mm, Nothing's done. Doesn't look like anything's going to get done before training camp. We're ready to move on. And you could see the good and you could see the bad. You could see the Jamar Chase believes he's going to get a deal done. He's doing things. T. Higgins doesn't. He's not there. Cortland Sutton is very open that he's upset with the Broncos and that things are not going very well. That's a name to watch. Brandon Ayuk is nowhere to be found. Name to watch. Meanwhile, Debo Samuel and Juwan Jennings have deals done. They're there in place. It's all over the place. This is the time of year where you're looking at wide receivers and saying, this is make or break season. You got two weeks. That's why I'm telling you it's going to happen while I'm gone. It, it's uh, it's coming close. Do you agree? Do you disagree that uh, we're kind of hitting that point? And again, I don't want to take up too much time talking about wide receivers. We continue to talk about wide receivers. There's other things to talk about. But do you agree that it's that timeline, that it's the time of the year where things are things are starting to get into motion because they're just not going well and you're running out of time to get a deal done? Yeah, mandatory minicamp is the first chance that any of these players have to make that statement of, hey, it is mandatory and I'm not here. So yep. that's when you really start to turn up the heat at least a little bit. But the closer and closer, as you mentioned, you get the training camp. The next two weeks are, all right, now we know you're mad. Now we know you're willing to be fined for being upset about this situation. Now it's what can we do to resolve this? It turns up the timeline. It speeds everything up. And so I agree. This is when you start to see that a little bit. Now, again, but some of these players, maybe all of these players end up figuring something out in the next couple yeah, yeah. of weeks. It's not guaranteed that any of them get moved. But at the same time, this is the time whenever, you know, the conversations get a little bit more serious because at this point of the offseason, most of the other moves are done. And that is your sole focus as an organization is what are the last couple of things we need to do? Oh, our star receiver is not happy and skipped out on mandatory minicamp or decided not to be you know, heavily involved at mandatory minicamp, that can be our sole focus moving forward. And that's why timelines get expedited a little bit going forward. Exactly. That is where we're at, where GMs and agents are talking and they have deadlines and everybody has deadlines. Nobody wants to miss training camp. These guys don't want to continue to lose money. So they're going to start pushing. And that's where we are. It starts with, we want to get a deal done. Deals got to get done. Deals got to get done. I'll show up. I'll do some work. I'm not losing money. That's the Cortland Sutton side of things is he's there. You know, he's he's showing up. He's doing stuff because he doesn't want to lose money. He has some understanding that a deal could get done. There's the other side of those with the Brandon Ayukes and the T Higgins, where it's like, I don't think that a deal is going to get done, but I'm only going to lose so much money before I start changing my negotiation tactics. Guys aren't looking to sit out a whole year. That's not ever a good idea. And I think players are starting to realize that that's not a good idea. I think they have more power than ever when it comes to forcing trades and Names like that typically get traded before they just sit out and then guys just let them move on with them with their lives. I, I see that as we're hitting that crossroads of negotiations are starting to go from let's get a deal done. Let's get a deal done. Let's get a deal done to you clearly don't want to get a deal done with me. You clearly don't want to reach my side of the negotiation table. Let's get a trade done. Let's find a trade partner. You're going to start seeing those things over the next two weeks is. Guys are going to delete stuff off social media. They're going to make comments. There's there's going to be the reports of this guy has the ability to go seek a trade. All that is coming, and and it's coming soon. It's just an update on the timeline. You know, Alex is here. Who are, they who are we talking about? We're not talking about specific names. It's more so just updating the wide receiver market is 
Brandon A.U., Cortland Sutton, T. Higgins, they're all kind of making it known that they're hitting the end of the road here. So expect something to happen and expect something to happen in the next couple of weeks, which great for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I still think a move's happening. I don't expect them not to make a move. You got too much cap space not to make a move, and you're going to have more once you extend Cam Hayward. I expect a move to be done, and uh, I expect it to be done before training camp. So we're getting, we're getting close. We're definitely getting close.